Hello and welcome to another Raggy's uh, beer review. So today we're going over to Yorkshire based nail maker brewing company for their plum porter. Um, bloody hell. I think we've got a cobweb. Uh, yeah. So um, it says a deep, easy drinking and well rounded porter with a bittersweet fusion of yummy plums balanced against dark nutty chocolate flavours hops and magnum and ricotta uh, malt is marisotta christmas malt crystal malt rather uh, black malt and chocolate malt the colour is dark 4.4 percent for this one so a lower abv than the yates one that i uh, reviewed go away Yeah, so a lower ABV than the Yates one that I reviewed literally a few days ago. Um, which was 5%. So nice pop of smoke on there straight away. Um, ding. <laughs> Here we go. Obviously it's not always about ABV. It's about what the taste does, the aroma and so on. So... There we go. Yeah, delivers a plum aroma, slightly more subtle than what I drank the other day. But it is only at the initial um, first moment, but um, even in that first moment, uh, a, a different plum porter. So a nice plummy uh, beer, um, like I say, and it's not fair to put it up, up against other, other brewery uh, versions of plum porter. There's an earthiness to this. I'm not getting a jammy plum. I'm, I'm getting hints of plum, but certainly not a jammy plum on this. Uh, certainly plum on the nose all day long. Yeah, um, I'll describe this as a subtle plum porter. Um, delivers what it says, you know. It, it uh, it's delivering, delivering rather. Um, uh, what you expect from a plum porter, you know, a plummy nose, plummy taste, a slight earthiness to the plum. Touch of chocolate. Bought this from Yorkshire Craft Beers um, for my birthday. So, yeah, um, just double check the writing. Yeah, Unit 9, Darton Business Park, S75, 5NH, 
and that's uh, nailmakerbrewing.co as it says on the bottle. So, been out today, um, I've been over to um, Long Eaton for a beer festival. Only nine beers on, all from Bang the Elephant. And then from there to uh, the Crown and at Beast and, and uh, had a couple of pints in there and uh, then we've come home and uh, so not a, an horrendously busy Saturday um, but you know I'm good for that because sometimes it's just nice we're, we're, I'm absolutely shattered after a long week at work <sighs> so it is nice to just have chill a chill time um, So the last of the bottle, there we go. Like I say, dark pour. Um, off white head, creamy, light tan, you could say that. Um, <sighs> oh, oh, tired. Um, a hint of plum on the aroma, same on the taste. I would, I would put this in the subtle modern traditional uh, version would I drink it again uh, I think it's a beer that I've done once and I'm, I'm okay with doing once you know it is what it is on that side of things um, out of five for me, um, all about modern traditional plum porter rather than what you would consider as a craft or even a slightly crafty uh, plum porter, certainly firmly a modern traditional. Um, for me, a good 4.0 out of five, but a nice tasting plum porter to balance up against other versions that you may or may not have tasted. <laughs> Depending if you're like me, I have tasted a lot of plum porters around the country. So, you know, I've got a good understanding of, of the flavours, in my opinion at least. Um, but yeah, that's my review. What do you think? And uh, see you soon. Cheers.